Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gain. And in this week's show we have a lot of big creations. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it this week. Let's see what the creators have built for us this week. And to kick things off this week we have the return of Seth Korn and the amazing Bank of Skylines. Semfcon is certainly well known for his amazing glass based models and this is no exception, a mighty building and I love the colour of the glass here and the way it just shines off, you get some of the lovely reflections as well, overall it's just a beautiful model and from your city, city skylines certainly is going to be one to take a dramatic emphasis. Now there's going to be a lot of beautiful big buildings this week and the Ping has brought us the Evolution Tower from Moscow. Now this is a very unique and dramatic building in terms of its actual construction. Very unusual, it's going to really make your skylines very remarkably different to any others. And well, very highly detailed with a helicopter pad on top, beautiful. Bridges and tunnels have been a big thing recently and SimoG has increased this with the elevated train track and wall. I think we can all agree that the standard default vanilla walls and well bridges are never the greatest looking so it's good to see that people are still creating these custom ones. Great work. Up next we have the return of King Leno with the Oasis Pool. And this really does look amazing. If you're not following his current series, please do so. You'll see this play laid down a lot better than what I've just done in this short clip. But look at that. The details are absolutely amazing. I love the water effects on the pool. And not only that, but he's also released a beautiful furniture pack, which allows us to be a bit more creative in ourselves by placing these down and making our own pools. Nighttime views, what do you expect? Brilliant. Los Gecko is up next with the modern mid-rise flats. Now these are based on some modern flats in London and I tell you what, these are a spitting image of a few flats very close to me. They are very, very unique and they do really give off that London and modern feel. Now this is the point where I normally talk about the textures of the buildings and the, the way that it's built, but people like Los Gecko and Co, they do it so well week in and week out that it's not really a topic anymore, it's more of an expectation. Fantastic work and we always look forward to these big creators returning with something new. Talking of big creators, we have the suspended monorail station by Ronix69. Now this was a little project he was working on and done a live stream on this as well and well he achieved it and it's beautiful. And to be honest monorails is not something I've actually placed down in these skylines yet but I certainly will be trying and the first model I'll be using is of course this one. Also this week.
Moving on to the King of Berlin, it is Ami Polizia Funk with the Trite Hospital. Now this is one of the biggest and largest hospitals in Germany, around 87 meters tall, and it pretty much dominates the skyline. Now the plot size is eight by 11, so it is a big building, but we need these big hospitals, there's not that many in the workshop currently, so this is certainly one to get your hands on to make a big city hospital. Up next is the Great Walls Watchtower by the Emperor Lee. Now the reason these made it on the workshop, not only are they fantastic models, but look at the texture details. I do love a good texture level, especially brickwork wise, and this is certainly a great asset. Might not fit in all US cities, but great for a very old area. And to finish things off this week, it can only be one. And it's Jez and it's the Gear de Orsay. That's probably pronounced completely wrong, but this is a beautiful former Paris railway station and hotel. So it was a hotel, but now it's changed into a beautiful art museum. And I think the design of this building suits that fantastically. And the texture levels and everything created by Jez on this model really do emphasize that culture side of things. A fantastic model be placed down and used as anything really it's got such a big variety due to its um, design and well what are you waiting for grab it on the workshop so guys that brings us to the end of this week's asset roundup as always please leave your comments below let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop but as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.